How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can get an Indian IP address. If you're looking for a VPN with Indian IP addresses, these are the best four options. Now there might be a bunch of reasons why you might want to get an Indian IP address. First of all, if you're in India and you want to secure your connection and not have the government spy on you or to know what you're doing online, or if you just want to keep yourself anonymous and keep your data to yourself, well, you can use a good, reliable VPN. Now, if you're looking for a VPN with an Indian server, let's say you're outside of India and you want to access these services that are exclusive to India, such as, you know, maybe a streaming service and whatnot, then yes, you can use a VPN with an Indian server and connect to the server so that you can access all the Indian content. Now, let me show you guys how you can get that IP address. And I'll briefly talk about these VPNs a little later on. Now I've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN, Surfshark, and CyberGhost over here. And after testing a couple dozen VPNs, I've found these four to be the best overall. They all vary in budget and features, so you can pick and choose depending on what you're looking for and what really fits your situation. Okay, so let's start with ExpressVPN, which I'll be using to demonstrate. So all you need to do is just head on over to the description, and you'll be able to grab yourself a discount no matter which of these VPNs you go for if you'd like to save a little bit of money. From there, download the VPN after getting a subscription, and then you can log in using your credentials after having downloaded and installed the VPN. Once you do that, you can go to locations. For example, with ExpressVPN, you can click on settings, VPN locations, and type India in the search bar, which will display all available Indian servers. And the reason I'm using ExpressVPN over here is because that's what I like to use on a daily basis. It's pretty easy to use, and as you can see, it takes less than a second to connect to any server, so that's really cool. All right, so click on India, and and then the on button to connect to the server, then go to any IP address finder, such as what is my IP address.com, give it a refresh, and you'll notice that my internet now thinks I'm in India, simply because I'm connected to the Indian IP address. And with that, I can access whatever Indian server I want to get access to. Okay, now, how do you know which one of these could be the best choice for you? Well, ExpressVPN is going to be the most reliable and consistent out of all. All four of these VPNs have strict no-log policies and have been audited by independent firms so you can trust that they don't log your data. But what makes ExpressVPN unique is that they've also undergone a real-life stress test in 2017 where one of their servers was seized by the Turkish government as part of an investigation, only to find nothing on that server. And that's why I also consider Express to be the most secure VPN on the market. So if you're looking for the best overall, most secure and easiest to use VPN, I'd say go for ExpressVPN. As for NordVPN, it's going to be the most value option as it comes with a huge bundle of features. You also get the largest pool of countries at 118, allowing you to access all sorts of content from all over the world. Besides that, that, Nord is also arguably the fastest VPN in the industry, only to be rivaled by ExpressVPN. So if you're looking for the fastest, most well-rounded option, I'd say go for Nord. And then Surfshark is certainly going to be the best option if you're looking for, in my opinion, the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary features that you get with more expensive VPNs. And I'm talking about features like the kill switch, split tunneling, multiple protocols, as well as specialty servers like multi-hop and static IP. For more info on all these features, you'll find the reviews down below. And similar to Express, Nord, and CyberGhost, Surfshark can also access streaming services that are exclusive to India and whatnot because it has reliable Indian servers. All you need to do is really just look for the server right here, click India, and you're good to go. Now, the same thing in terms of cost applies to CyberGhost, but the main difference between Surfshark and CyberGhost is that Surfshark does not sacrifice any of the necessary features, and you can secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, which is very unique. So you can share it around with as many friends and family members as you'd like. Now, CyberGhost is the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost while sacrificing features like split tunneling and specialty servers. However, it does have server categories that are split up depending on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for streaming servers, you can go to the streaming section, scroll down to India, and access Indian content through these servers. So that's basically it for this video. Again, ExpressVPN is going to be your best choice overall, as it's the easiest to use and most secure VPN on this list. NordVPN is going to be the fastest, most well-rounded, high-value VPN that comes with a bunch of different security features, as well as the highest country count if you want to access a wider variety of content. Surfshark is a great budget option that you can share around with your friends and family while retaining all the necessary features. And then CyberGhost is the best for those who don't use a VPN often and just want something cheap that still works well whenever needed. Whether you're looking to secure a device while torrenting or streaming, accessing Indian services, or just stay safe on public Wi-Fi, these VPNs will get the job done. 
And so if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee. CyberGhost even offers a 45-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, you can easily get a refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day!